So that is something to give him confidence. I mean, his first start in the actual match goes into treble one. 42. That's absolutely unbelievable and typical. It's something I would never, ever do personally because I always had something where I didn't want to hit too oh, big of a score in practice. Oh, to try and follow that up. <laughs> that's, that's as much as you get from Christoph Ratajski. Nine data, the referee celebrating more than he is. But it, we've seen the best leg of the final before it's even started. You might as well switch off now. Well, Chris, I've been desperate for a nine all weekend, and he does it without the camera being shown. That's not fair, Christoph. Oh. That is not fair. Yeah, uh, a rather bizarre start. Well, it wasn't even the start. It was before the start of the final. And it's taken some time to get going again. Well, a couple of visits, but here he is. Perfect dart from the pole. Yeah, it's been pretty straightforward without being too disrespectful to Ricky Evans, Dave Chisnell, Danny Nopper and Josh Rock. 425. I still think there's plenty in the tank for Christoph Ratajski. Well, it's been a polar opposite for Stephen Bunt and he has been through the ringer. Yeah, produced some big shots at big moments. Not many of them in this tournament. Just five ton toppers between the pair of these and none in this kind of range. But it's been the mid-range finishers that have been getting them through. And Ratajski is on one of those after a dozen darts. Treble 19 to start. A double 16. He's had a, his moments on this double. He's been very good on double eight. Not this time. Very similar how he started the match against Josh Rock. Oh, Stephen Bunton has looked good on doubles. Once again, it's going to be double top for him. And he's settled it in. Early nerves from both players. This will be 16. 2 8 cent for Ratajski. Yeah, it's on the first leg. Lands it to hold on to his throw, so dodging a couple of the bullets, bullets if you like. It is the third. Big stage final for Stephen Bunting. Lost the Sydney Darts Masters as well in 2014 to Phil Taylor. 58. But Christoph Ratajski playing in his 18th PDC final, having won 10 of the previous 17. Yeah, the two players have sort of synonymous to my career as well. I mean, I sort of took over the BDO when Bunting left. I was delighted when he left because he was so dominant in 2013. I think he won a World Masters that year without even dropping a set. He was so good. But that stat that you said at the beginning of this match, five. Stephen Bunton being in the PDC for a decade, I keep thinking it's only like a couple of years ago. But he's won players' championships in 2016 and 2021. But no, this would be something a little bit special with the 2014 Lakeside World Champion. Yeah, I think there's another one in between as well at third players championship win for Stephen Bunting but he is still searching for that big stage win and as you say Glenn that's a, a big moment it's one that you've had you won the Premier League of course can't get much bigger than that but you had a similar impact to Stephen Bunting winning pretty soon oh, having moved over yeah we both arrived in the PDC full of confidence after winning Lakeside titles but we both within a fortnight had, had took that title Stephen in he said to me yesterday he feels like he's underachieved a little bit well this could be a massive massive moment for him he's just remember them eight darts that Joe Cullen he put his darts down twice that they were ready to shake the hands of Joe Cullen he is in the final 16. one of the reasons why he should never give up in a leg 116 for Stephen 16 for tops for a fourth three-figure finish of the tournament it's over the top and now Ratajski has a chance to get his third ton topper of the event start on treble 18 he can still do it it's treble 20 which would lead the bullseye and that's plum for the bull oh what a dart look at the reaction that was smack bang in the middle and that's one right in the solar plex of Stephen Bunting as he was sat pretty. A more beautiful bullseye you could not wish to see. And Ratajski reacts to that one a little bit more than he did to those practice starts. Rightly so as well. Some would say that in practice... Six. Doesn't really count, Glenn, because you wouldn't go for it other than the fact that you've hit two 180s. Yeah, he's so understated, so unnerving. He's, he's got ice through those veins as Christoph Ratajski, and it's great to see him playing Fancy so well. One last, one last comment from me that involves you, Glenn, but between yourself, 
Christoph Rotajski and Stephen Bunting, you pretty much account for all of the World Masters titles that were won in the last decade, don't you? Yeah, it was a it was a wonderful Fair period, and, I, and I've spoken off a lot of them. The first time I met Rotajski, he was just a little bit different, whereas Bunting was so dominant in that World Masters. It's nice to have, but I think if you ask both players, oh, winning the German Open darts today would be better than that World Masters. You are up against the elite players, the best players in the world. And 30 grand to boot. Yeah, World Masters Nine titles seasons. in 2012 and 2013 won by Stephen Bunting. 2015 and 2016 won by Glenn Duran. And 2017 won by Christoph Ratajski. And only one of them sat in the commentary box. Oh, Go figure. And the guy that won it last year has just been knocked out in the semis. What are you trying to do to me, Chris? <laughs> I just feel left out. Stephen Bunting might be feeling left out of this final if he doesn't get hey, his skates he's on. Yeah, he's got an opportunity here, Chris, hasn't he? To break a throw would be as well. He's six darts on 1A3. That was a bit of a flyer. What a dart when he extends hey, he's that arm. He just looks so good. You've got to remember he's six grams extra on his dart. He's been trying for the past couple of weeks, stroke months, and the actual darts he's been practicing with. I think the back at home in a suitcase seven. somewhere, so it's been CEO one of them competitions for him, but he's reminding himself that he should be on his way home. Joel Cullen doesn't miss eight darts at a double normally, because Bunton missed double 19. Well, when he missed this very finish in the semis, he thought the game might have been up then. Seven Wrong side of the wire on that occasion, but There's actually ends up leaving a better double. Does he start the 19s for his favourite double 16? Well, he needs the treble 19 to go that way and gets it for 3 0, double 16. 92. Missed start for a three leg advantage. Stephen Bunting now can break, 2 12. He's got there accidentally. Double six, that's a good one for him. He's standing right in front of it, basically, but it's double three in the end, and he can't find any of them. And his doubles were that good in the semi. But they've been terrible at the start of this final. Okay, it's 3 0 to the Polish it's Eagle. It's always very difficult Full to play the Stephen second semi final. You get 15 to 20 minutes to get yourself ready. Game well, let's just look at what Stevens had to go up. He had a tough opening game against Mickey Mansell, 6 4. Then that unbelievable game with Joe Cullen, where he put his darts down twice, 6 5. He then had that big win against Martin Schindler, 6 1, but had that amazing Nine, crowd, eight. that unbelievable atmosphere. Then another thriller with Andrew Gildin. And literally half an hour ago, that 7-6 monster game with Leslie Prasia, and you can understand how much oh, petrol is still in the tank. Not. Yeah, three of his five games going to deciding legs, Stephen Bunting, none of Ratajski's four going the distance. Been very, very comfortable. 6-3 against Ricky Evans, 6-2 against the number one seed, Dave Chisnell. Danny Noppert was seen off 6-3, and then Josh Rock 7-4, and that took some doing because Rock has been excellent in this tournament. Should see Bunty starting the 19s here. He'll stay there for a couple of trebles. Another one of them would leave the big fish. 95. Needs something to happen. This is for a holder throw only. Certainly advantage to the pole at the moment. Yeah, he needs a couple of trebles, but in a different part of the board. And he's got them already. 140. Bunting really needs this leg in the ledge, you would feel. Ratajski would be halfway to the win, and he would be throwing next as well. 100. That's a good one. require 164. He was hoping for more. He threw them very, very nicely. But good things happening to Christoph Ratajski at the moment. That would have been extra special, but he can just sit on top 96. of that. Even you're going on He's a good finish. We've seen Ratajki attempt this 108, and Bunton achieve. He needs that spark. Is this the finish, Chris? He's going to get a go. He's had eight darts at double already in this match. He's missed a lot, making it nine. Chris, you require 68. He just will not go in for Stephen Bunting. And each time, Christoph Ratajski has made him pay. Yeah, it's on the and it's pay, pay, pay. Bunting running out of time, sinking in the quicksand, disappearing fast in this final. 
And that's why he's got to tell himself that he shouldn't have been in this final. He's come back from bigger things than this before. But Christoph Ratatsky just seems to be getting better and better. What a competition for Christoph Ratatsky. He's been so impressive. He's such a skillful player. One of his real oh, strengths no. is this mental side. You can't read him. He's a tough opponent to play, and when he's leading 4 0 and he's looking comfortable, it's a tall ass now for Stephen Bunting. Something special needs oh, to happen. Oh, yeah, it would be the biggest Merseyside comeback since one night in Istanbul. And the Liverpool lobber just cannot Six. seem to get his scoring going. Rotaski could railroad him in this final. Kind of happened a little bit, you know, in Prague Fooly. four years ago. Jamie Hughes won that comfortably. Stephen Bunting averaged 89 for the final. That's exactly where he is now. Yes, yeah, first nine is good. He's averaging over 100 and he's... Outscoring Christoph in that area, but the back oh, end of the legs. Three. Stephen Nort from nine on the outer ring. That's not a stat he'll want to see or hear. 42. That was a real opportunity there for the pull. Stephen still 100 behind. Ton 40 minimum you're feeling from here. He doesn't want to go 5 0 down. It's beginning to be a, right, a route you would feel oh, from there. Just a few to go 148. Both players on the same finish, but only one man looking likely to take any finish out at the moment in this match. 58. Yeah, it's just been a little bit scruffy, Christoph, just to give some hope for Stephen Bunton. He hasn't been great himself. He's already thrown 12 darts. Decision time for Ratajski on the 90. We saw 90. Bunting take it out brilliantly on the, the bullseye earlier on, starting on the bullseye, but Ratajski goes a conventional route. So he'll have a clear look at this bull, and he's already pinned it perfectly in this final. 65. And I'll tell you what, when he let go of that, he knew it was close. So does Bunting start on the bull again here, having been so successful earlier on on it? Definitely not. He has to start in the 20s. Bed. I think he starts on the bull. And he has, and he's got away with that blocking dart yeah. there. Well, I think he's bailed himself out of a bit of bother there because that dart earlier in the 25 was a marker. That one wasn't, so he really needed that treble 15, and he is off the mark in this match. The only way to go, of course. <laughs> he might have just given him something, you know. A bit of bunting bounce back ability. Easy. A 90 finish changed the direction of that semi final against Plosia. 140. Sorry, it was the quarter final against Gilding. All happened so fast tonight, Glenn. Speedy darts right now as well. You just feel Stephen is just up the pace a little bit here. 60. He knows he's getting his rhythm well. That's unlucky. They're just all around that treble 20 bed. That was a good response there from Christoph. That 140 went a little bit unnoticed. 16. There were rumours circulating backstage that Stephen Bunting might be belting out a tune if he were to win the, the title at the end of the tournament. He's done that before on a European tour stage, by the way. Come on, Christoph. 59. Yeah, will it be Stephen singing or will it be the pole dancing at the end of tonight's final? Well, if Stephen sings, I'll be pole axed. 93. He's got a chance to get back. The 4-2 after a slow start here. That 90 finish might have just changed everything for Bunting. He's an excellent board managing player, Steve. He just took time. He just looked at the situation there. He knew he was on 2-0-2. He knew six starts from here. That 170 is absolutely stunning. That 90 just seems to have woken him up. But he comes to attach key. Well, well, it was 32. a 180 to start the leg as well. So 180 to start, 170 set up. Double 16 out. This is the bit that matters. 
Double eight. Yeah, Gets it, and Stay maybe the double trouble point. is behind him after all. Yeah, doubles were his Achilles heel, I was feeling there, but that was a monumental double eight. Can he break Christoph Natachki and get it back on throw? That's the plan. But that's a beautiful start once again from the pole. He ain't going down without a fight. It's game on. Oh, you can see him disappointed not to find at least one bedfellow there after a perfect first start. But Ratajski is a rock steady type of player and giving him a 4 0 cushion in a oh, final is not a good there. idea. But he can get away with that, get it to 4 4 in the next couple of legs and effectively restart the match. Then he will be a very relieved man. It would be a remarkable oh, turnaround because Christoph didn't look like. He was going to budge, and he's not that one of them types of players to throw a big lead away. He is so solid. I'm just watching his mannerisms, his throw. He looks really in control of himself. Six. But another leg for Stephen Bunton here against the throw would make this very, very interesting. But it's advantage to attach at the moment. Stephen leads it in these two trebles, and he's not going to get it. 59. That means Ratajki will not even consider taking out 161. Will not be a thought in his mind about it. All he wants to do is set up half decent. 59. Could have been better. Yeah, I like the bullseye on the last dart there. Just even if you get the 25, you're leaving a two darter. But like I say, sometimes your thought process when you're in this situation just goes out the window a little bit. But a 180 makes it interesting. Oh, 140. Because of you going 102. 140 it is to get down to the very same shot. As the one Ratajki is attempting here, he can still do it. Treble 19. Can't find it, so this is an 17. opportunity for another Steve break back for Stephen Bunting. Suddenly, the game will be back on throw. Yeah, once again, that treble 18 doesn't go unnoticed there. He leaves a single double, so all of a sudden, this is a must. He has to stay there. The double 11. 80. Yeah, I was nodding my head as you Does said that, Glenn. He looks so inviting. Did the right thing, got a dart at a double. Didn't matter which double it was. Now, is that a help or a hindrance? He's not got yeah, much of the bed to there. aim at. Chris he blocked Stop a third of it, but he found the hey, remaining Steven, the portion. Game and he extends his lead to 5-2 after bunting Mr. Dart to claw it back to a single leg. Just a fantastic camera angle to see how difficult that double 12 Seven was. Season. That was such a good dart, hence the reason Christop responded like that. He knew the importance of that. 5-2 is a massive lead, you feel. Yeah, he is as far away from winning this final as Stephen Bunting is from him in this final now. Stephen's doing everything right. He's not panicking. He's just going back to his water table, just taking his time and starting again. He'll see all the positives in this week, Stephen, but he doesn't want to see that runner up again. He feels like his name's on the trophy. That's what the chat's been sort of backstage when you have a game like you had with Cullen. Ratachki, ice in the vein, just looks so good. 441. Yeah, he's done that a lot, Stephen Bunting, particularly today, just when he's felt the match has started to turn against him. He has had a step back, a reset, a rethink. I have to do that mid-visit here and switch. 96. Chance for Ratachki again. Six darts and 2-2-3, two, two, and he's in again. A 140, 180 here. Oh, this is absolutely oh, incredible. Season. No emotion. He is some player when he's in full flow, isn't he? Absolutely. A potentially 11 data here in prospect. Oh, uh, Stephen Bunting it. powerless to do a thing about 46. it. He's had his trials and tribulations on double 16. He's sticking with it. He's hit double eight under high pressured situations before yeah, and does it again. It's 6 2. And just look at the body language of Stephen Bunting there, he won't give up. Still has had more darts at double in this match than Christopher Tajski. And that has been the missing element for Bunting, certainly in the early part of the game, allowing Tajski to get that four-leg advantage, which he's just recaptured. Pair have had only three meetings before. Quite surprising they haven't run into each other so often. And all of them have been on the stage. All big games, you expect to see lots of player championships, but 
It has. It's been on the three big stages, three, the European two. Uh, the biggest stage of all, at Ali Pali in a quarter-final to boot. And the world match play as well. And that Ali Pali match was a real classic. By three, it went to Stephen Bunting. He averaged more than 101 over those eight sets. A really good performance. One of the best we've seen from him in the PDC. Actually, the averages between them in all three games there have been staggering. Sometimes you need two to tango and find that right dance partner. 140. And right now, it's been all about Christoph Latajski who's taking the lead. Yeah, certainly is. And Stephen Bunting has looked like a man who's been under pressure all tournament. Not in his demeanour, just in the way every match has gone. The only one that he had any kind of respite was that 6-1 win against Martin Schindler, and he, in that one, had the pressure of 1,500 fans cheering for the other fella. Yeah, it's blisteringly just hot in here. Like I said, that 15 to 20 minutes after the semi-final to get back on the stage, especially with the fact it was a 7-6. Just look at what we're seeing. Treble 17. He lays up. It's going to be something special from Bunting. It has to be something Senior special from Bunting. It's not going to be... He's relying on Ratajski, missing. Because if the pole takes Just this out, he's one away from the win. Once again, this hasn't been his friend. But this has. 36. A rare reprieve Senior for Stephen Bunting. 70. For once, Ratajski allows a return. Tension in the Sparkassen Arena here in Jena. They want to see a thrilling final. Will they get one? They might if Bunting takes this out. Going a long way, a long way across yeah. and finding the double. Stephen that Bunting. is an incredible dart Tonight, for Stephen, Stephen Bunting. When you consider his starting position on the hockey, where he threw that dart from was so unnatural. Yet he Game found on. the target and kept himself just about in this final. Yeah, the outer ring has not been his friend, which makes that double-A just doubly good. We have seen breathtaking oh, quality. We have seen thrilling conclusions. We've seen shocks. This would be the biggest comeback of them all. There's still plenty to play for for Bunton. He's got to keep believing. He's just got to build those oh. blocks. The worst thing he can do is overthink the whole of this game. That old adage of just take the next three darts. That's so important right now. 100. Just a time of the match where it's filled with jeopardy, isn't it? Bunting is just trying to cling to the cliff edge, stop Ratajski from kicking him over, basically. Once he gets within one leg, you feel the job's as good as done. But if Bunting can just get close to him before he gets there, then this oh, final may have life in it. Yeah, I call it that mid-match area. And it seems to be suiting Bunting at the moment. When you first come at that first leg, the adrenaline is flowing through your body, and Christoph oh, just handled that so well. Steam Euro 164. He's left this so many times, but it's six starts and one six four. Just need any history looks right now. Nice bit of breathing space for Stephen Bunting. Not really sure why he went for the ball with the last dart on that Steve occasion. Had he gone for the 19th with the second, it would have made more sense. Yeah, because it was leaving 1 2 6, wasn't it? Would have only left 1 2 1 with the 25. But I highlight the word, but 1 1 6 is tasty. Just sit on top of that. 92. Because if you require 105. The 105 for Ratajski. This could be the biggest moment of this match. If he hits, it's as good as one. If he misses, it's game on. Game on. He hits. Is that it? It's a break. 
for Christoph yeah. Ratajski, leaving first. Stephen Bunting in an, an impossible position in this final. Dream. And for a second there, he wasn't sure if it was in. And then the reaction tells everything. People say they must be so nervous right now, but you just feel seven foot tall, seven three ahead oh, for his second one. European tour win. He's in fairy tale land right now. Oh, it's easy. It's been an unbelievable competition. Just a superb tournament. The fans, for me, have been absolutely outstanding. They were brilliant when the German players are playing without being disrespectful oh, to the it's others. Easy. We've had a little bit of everything. Magic, magic darts. And here's the pull. Going to be reaching the summit. It's not like Stephen Bunning hasn't turned up in this final. It's just that he's missed oh, too many darts five. at double. 13 in total. Ratajski simply twice as good. That's the difference in that department. 58. Sixty behind, nothing in the averages. The conclusion of the game so far, as Chris alludes to, it's all about those winning doubles. Whatever tournament you go to, Christoph will never ever get the headlines. But he is so strong. He's full of fight. He's tenacious. He's tough to play. And on that one and one match play situation, he's as good as anybody in the world. And it's just brilliant to see him back at his very, very best. Stephen's given absolutely everything. 58. But if he was a, a car engine, Stephen. I think he's running on empty at this moment. Well, he knows he's dodged a few bullets, if you pardon the pun, in this tournament. And maybe he did just run out of life, to Stevie use his own words. On 152. It's a tough ask. And when your opponent sat in 32 with the game, this would be special. It's not to be. Will Christoph Ritesh be a second European Tour Resident title Uruguay winner? 32. Double eight. And still. Game shot. And Ratajski and runs riot in the final. An 8-3 success. Over Stephen Bunting.